I know what you're thinking. What has Zana been up to? Well, I've got good news. She was at the Women's March. What was she doing? I'm glad you asked. She was doing what she normally does, being loud. And some dickhead gave her a megaphone. And I watched this video and I said, drunken uncle, I said, you can't take on this amount of woman alone. So I called in the big guns. But the big guns were busy, so I got... Toon, screw your bollocks on tight, it's a Zana Joshi double team. So I'm pretty sure that by now we've all heard of the beautiful grill cut Zana Joshi. Now you may have also heard that the women's march was a couple of weeks ago. You know that thing that w women do? Looking at my gender percentage on YouTube, I can see that 86% of my viewers are male and 40% are female. So at least 40% should know what that shit is about. The other 86% is probably having a wank to this video right now, but yeah. Now I just have a guess, right? Why did June mention Zana Joshi? Well, because me and Drunken Uncle are going to roast the shit out of this woman. We're putting our bodies and our safety and our liberty on the line. That's cool, just keep that line far fucking away from me. Zana Joshi interview, Women's March 2017. Comments are disabled for this video. Zana, you always like to act off and shit like that, but you're afraid of letters on the screen. Oh, wow. Zana Joshi says her thoughts on the Women's March on Seattle, January 21st, 2017. Oh boy, oh boy, we are going to have a fun time. I'm very heartened to see these thousands and thousands and thousands of people i've i've thousands and thousands and thousands thousands it's it's more thousands it's like the racist cops cops thing all over again the crimes of racist thug cops 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 thousands thousand cops cops now also this is the first time i noticed this but the sniper dot on the floor and it's actually not pain i always assumed it was pain but it's a piece of Paper is the paper. Guess times are well rough for feminists nowadays. Already, you know, made made my speech like eight times already, and will continue to do so until oh, the march. Oh no, please, no, 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 no. You know, it's all cool as shit that you want to do a speech, but nah, it's it's okay. We don't really want to hear it, you know. Donna's like the one kid back in the days that was always really proud of its accomplishments. For Jake, fun is reciting from memory. The infinite series of numbers known as pi. 3.14159265358789 So um I'm really heartened to see this response, but uh, what I want to make sure people remember is that this isn't just one day. This isn't just one March. Oh, for this... oh, fuck's sake. Look at the smile on her face as well. She knows we don't like this shit. She, oh, she's pure evil. Is that gets upon her lip, by the way? You know, most people who try to do an interview always try to look as good as possible. But you know, it's Sana, and that is probably menstruation blood on her lip. So yeah, hashtag Sana things. It doesn't end because you showed up at one March. This is an entire lifestyle that we have to imbibe of continuous dismantling patriarchy continue oh you what the f what are you on about that must be lifestyle goals to be honest i'm going to put this on my bucket list be a female who tries to dismantle the patriarchy that isn't actually there i like catching ghosts in my free time as well zana that we have to imbibe of continuously dismantling patriarchy continuously dismantling the systems of Oppression, capitalism, racism, colonialism. Let's try to name as many things as possible that end with ism. Hi everybody, welcome back to Weekly Words. My name is Alicia and this week we are going to talk about ism word. The first word is anarchism, capitalism, altruism, racism. I really bother what the fuck? Obstruction of the circularity system caused by an air bubble. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I knew that. All of the systems that oppress Mother Earth. And it, they are all the systems that oppress women, women of color, people of color, indigenous people, queer and trans people, and by the way, men too. Cis males and oh. white- Oh, uh, that, that was unexpected. I guess she's finally accepting the fact that not only women are there. Cis males and white males also suffer from those systems. They just don't realize it because they're on top. We, us, the white male race does not realize it because we are on top. Let me just throw some random words in the sentence and then hope that it actually sounds kind of logical. Hashtag Sana thinks. And it's the fact that they're on top and they're isolated and they're lonely and they're emotionally... Whoa, 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 hold on. Now you're just assuming things. I still have my right hand, okay? I don't go out a lot i know but i still have my right hand tick hat connected that's the reason why it's so easy for them to go out and hurt others and that's the system of power that we live under that continues to degrade mother earth and that's why we speak out against it and women of color speak out and around 
the region, wherever we go, we speak in different places, we uh, are present in direct actions, we organize, um, and we're continuing to talk. And this doesn't, uh, this doesn't end, it didn't begin today. Arrow 404, son, that's not working. Uh, are present in direct actions, we organize, um, and we're continuing to talk. And this doesn't, uh, this doesn't end, it didn't begin today, it's not gonna end today. And Trump is just a figurehead. I knew this was about to come. Now that Trump is president, how can she leave that out? It's such an easy catch for the feminists. They always have to blame Trump. Real issue that we need to dismantle here. Find out more about Sana Joshi story and women of color speak. No, no, no. I got other stuff to do, like uh, uh, m milk my will. Now, as she stated in this little interview over here, she was doing a speech in the women's march. Now, my mentor, Uncle and Uncle, he has a beautiful view on his speech. Give a random applause for. I'm not doing that. That's fucking cringy. Here's Swank and Uncle, my boy. Respect to the Duwamish. People upon whose land we are standing and speaking and marching today. Well, if I were of the Duwamish people, I'd tell you to get the fuck off my land. My name is Zana. And as you can see, Zana, no one cares. And I'm here with a group called Women of Colour Speak Out. Women of Colour? Well, you better keep that megaphone hidden then, Zana. You don't want to get shot. And in this group, we speak for climate justice. Yeah, I want that nasty climate behind bars. We speak on how the systems of oppression have led to the devastation of Mother Earth. As opposed to Father Earth, who had no say in whether or not Mother Earth was going to keep the life on it. And when we're out there blockading, speaking, confronting this corrupt system. By blockading? How the fuck is causing traffic congestion going to solve climate change? Think it through. We're putting ourselves on the line. We're putting our bodies and our safety and our liberty on the line. That's cool. Just keep that line far fucking away from me. We do that every day. Bullshit. I don't think you even shower every day. And at one such action, I was targeted. There we go. It's the Zana show, everybody. We've gone from climate change to Zana. Fucking seamless. Because that's what happens when women of colour speak. That's what happens when women speak. We get targeted. I think this screenshot sums her up quite well. The woman with a megaphone for a face. And I was sexually harassed at that action. And I defended myself the way my elders taught me to defend myself. Loudly and proudly. I bet your ancestors are fucking glad they're dead, Zana. I defended myself against sexual harassment and I smashed the patriarchy. Oh, well done, well done. Patriarchy smashed. So what are you doing at the Women's March then if you've already smashed the patriarchy? Just chilling, I guess. And because I did that... You didn't do that, though. Because I did that... You didn't, Zana. You just turned yourself into a meme. I was targeted by the media and the cops. I don't think you can call making a four-part series for your YouTube channel being targeted by the media, Zana. I probably made more money off of those videos than you did. Who directed racists and misogynists and rapists to stalk me. Oh, don't fucking flatter yourself. If you're out there cheering for the cops, don't forget they endorse Trump. Probably because they didn't fancy being conscripted for World War Three. Some of that male privilege for you. That's the reality of the situation. Zana, you are in no way synonymous with reality. So when you're out there, understand that these systems of oppression are continually trying to keep us down. And when I say they directed people to come after me, I mean that they literally put my contact information up on their websites and told them to come after me. Yeah, gonna need some citation on that one, my wilted desert rose. And I got rape threats. I got death threats. Did you get raped or murdered, though? I got targeted at every level, on social media, on email, on phone, at my home, in person. Yeah, but if no one sent you a letter by mail, then it's not on every level. And carry a pigeon and smoke signals. I was not safe anywhere. No, no, I, I can see that. There's a sniper aiming up for a headshot on you right now. And what hurt the most? Was your throat after screaming your saggy tits off? 
was the attacks I got from my own people. Women? No, Indians. No, Indian women. Or maybe retards. From women! Oh, right. Oh, I was right the first time. Well, I mean, that would be cause enough for most people to look at their own actions, but I'm sure it was them who were in the wrong, yeah? From white women! From women of colour! Well, all the Asian women were quiet about it then. From people of colour, from men of colour! I got attacked! Can't help but notice you left out white men there. Is that because they weren't attacking you, or you don't consider them your people? Because you mentioned everyone else, except the bloody Asians. I got told to be silent! I got told I was crazy! Was? Zana, there's no past tense. You are off the chain mental. We go after each other. And when we go after each other, that's called internalized oppression. It's not oppression if you genuinely are fucking crazy, Zana. When we're so cowed by the system, we're so afraid of the system that we silence each other. Oh yeah? When's that gonna start then? Can it be soon, please? I was told that when I spoke up, I was making other women unsafe. I was told that when I spoke up, I was making people of colour unsafe. Not so sure about that. Making an ass of yourself, definitely. But not so sure about making people unsafe. People who should have defended me, people who should have stood up for me, came after me. That's what hurt the most. Oh, really? So it wasn't having your funding page shut down and being called out as a complete fucking idiot in front of the whole world then? And therefore, I learned that in order to dismantle this system, First, we have to dismantle our internalized patriarchy. Oh, patriarchy's internal now. Fuck, that shit really does get around. Reminds me of a girl I went to school with. We have to dismantle our own internalized oppression so that we stand up for each other instead of standing up for the patriarchy. All right, well, don't come at me for being a white male when you're the fucking problem then. Sort yourself out. So that we help each other instead of helping the sexual harassers and the rapists and the racists. Let's stop helping them with our silence. Zana, when have you ever been silent? I bet you even scream in your sleep. Let's stop helping them by attacking each other. Let's defend each other. So many people are cheering there because they think this is the end. Someone take the fucking megaphone off of her. And in order to help my people do this, I created a video series called Zana Responds. It's on YouTube. Ooh, I've seen it. Are you still trying to get some views on that, eh? It's done, mate. It's over. You fucking lost. Zana Responds. Go and watch it. I made it for you. Really? Because that shit was so perfect, I could have swore you made it for me in tune. I, I made it so that people would learn what is really going on, so that people would see with their own eyes. As opposed to seeing with their feet. Her, how prevalent rape culture is, how prevalent racism is before our own eyes and we don't see it. Could be your ego blocking your view. I made that so that you would learn, so that you could begin the process of dismantling our own internalized patriarchy. Just like Zana has. Look at her. She's so happy now. Go and watch those videos. And when you find them, when you look, when you look them up on YouTube, Zana responds. Look them up on YouTube. When you go looking for them, you will see 50 hate videos up against me. With respect, I think it's closer to 100. That's how you know you're winning. Really? Because my ad revenue let me know when I was winning. When they come after you, that's how you know you're winning. Oh yeah, I bet Anne Frank was fucking ecstatic about that. And so, watch that series, learn from it, share it, talk to each other about it, talk, to, talk together as a community. Do you really want that, Zana? Because even your own lot didn't want anything to do with you. With your family, with your people, with your friends, with your children, with your classmates, with your workmates, with your church, with your temple, wherever you go. Talk to each other. I'm not going down Tesco and stopping people in the fucking fruit and veg aisle to talk about your fucking whinging. People don't make eye contact with me as it is. Come up with a plan to defend each other. Learn how to speak up for yourself. Learn how to speak up for others. Learn how to give someone else a chance to speak, Zana. Fuck, I bet you brought that megaphone from home, didn't you? Just happened to have one lying around. And be present, this isn't just one march. 
This isn't just one day. No, no, it is. It is exactly those things. This is our life. This is not us. Are you with me? No, you crazy fuck. I'm not with you. Whoa, 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 I thought you already did that, Zana. You said you already did that. And I suppose it's too much to ask that you cleaned up the pieces afterwards. Yeah! Are we going to bed, Mother Earth? Yeah! Not so enthusiastic about that one, are they? You're losing the crowd, Zana. Thank you. No, no, thank you for finally putting the fucking megaphone down. It doesn't even have any batteries in it. That was all her. If you think about it though, Zana owes everything to the patriarchy. It made her famous, well, infamous. But without it, she would just be another boring face in that sea of dead eyes and turkey necks. Thank you, Toon, for being my butt buddy tonight, and hopefully you won't get yourself checked before you decide to work with me again. His link is in the description, and you really should go see what he's got, besides syphilis. Thanks for watching, guys, and remember, the one thing needed by Zana is a big dose of karma.